my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today is realized in totality and fullness the prophetic sermon preached on the occasion of the funeral of sister alfonsa by her spiritual director father romulo cmi so runs a piece of this sermon Sister Alphonse's tomb here will become a center of pilgrimage and people will come here from all parts of India to pray to her, seeking her in the session. Bishops no doubt and cardinal themselves, if God is so pleased, will visit the tomb though she is an obscure nun now. As a fulfillment of these words, There have been many instances of cardinals and bishops visiting the tomb and offering holy mass. Even during these days of plenary session of CBCI, bishops visited the tomb and even offered holy mass as they are never to be here today. However, the pilgrim center including this pilgrim church, the foreign church and the convent of St. Alphonse are feel privileged by the presence of the entire Catholic hierarchy of India consisting of cardinals archbishops bishops together visiting the tomb moreover the pilgrim center is blessed and even taken up by the eucharistic liturgy which is the greatest divine anubhava that man can have on earth remember anubhava is supposed to be the greatest jnana for us indians for today's anubhava Vijayavaram Dissessions Choir inspired by His Excellency Right Reverend Dr. Sebastian Thakar Cheril and led by Father Tom Jones is to be remembered and thanked. Our thanks are due to their eminences Oswald Cardinal Gracious who led the Eucharistic celebration and gave an inspiring homily Basilius Cardinal Clemis, Vice President and the President-elect as well as a strong devotee of St. Alphonsa, George Cardinal Alan Cherry, my own professor and pastor at the Kaput of the church of which this pilgrim center is a part. Tell us for Cardinal Topo, former President of CBCI, their graces Archbishops Mar George William Atom, Vice President, Archbishop Albert D. Sousa, Secretary General, Archbishop Joseph Perindotam, the head of this province, Archbishop Emeritus Joseph Chanagunel, who hails from Varnayanam itself, and other Archbishops, Their Excellencies, the Bishops, among whom are my classmates in seminary, my seminary mates and Roman mates, all these, all the bishops and distinguished dignitaries deserve our thanks. In a special way, I thank Mar Joseph Kalaringat, who presides our local church with the utmost care, diligence, and with the dynamic and charismatic leadership and who is the spiritual and material architect of this pilgrim center and whom we congratulate on the re-election as the chairman of the doctrinal commission of CBCI. We thank our auxiliary bishop, Mar Jacob Murikin, Bishop Emeritus Mar Joseph Palika Parambil for their support and keen interest they have shown in matters with regard to the Paranayanam visit of CBCI. We thank specially Father C. Joseph, the Deputy Secretary General, who like Archbishop, His Grace, Albert D. Sousa, repeatedly visited this place and guided the arrangement. Thanks are due to each and everyone, priests, sisters, lay faithful, police officers, etc., who have helped us to make this program an event either by their service or by their presence. Special thanks are to our media friends. Together with the thanks, I invite your lordships to come to here 
again and stay here even for a few days your lordships are requested to take part in the supper and entertainment program in the parish hall in the parish hall be kind enough be to receive a small gift box consisting of the first grade relic of saint alfonso and alfonso coins alfonso in diary 2014 having 16 pages of information regarding the saint and the pilgrim center and the the biography of saint alfonso written by father romulus himself perhaps the only primary source please be kind enough to affix your lordship signature in the mass register which is to be passed to your place in the auditorium i thank each and every one of everyone who are present here and may god bless you through saint alfonso thank you very much before the final blessing i want to say a word thanks thanks to father joseph for all the arrangements made excellent helping us to pray better i want to thank all those who helped in this liturgical celebration in a very special way the choir from vijayapuram which sang uh, very beautifully well chosen hymns which uh, helped us to pray better a very special word of thanks also to all those who joined us as we celebrate offer this uh, eucharistic sacrifice uh, those pilgrims from other parts of the diocese and elsewhere who came both to welcome us also to pray to say in alfonso and finally a thanks of course to archbishop uh, joseph karangat i want to say also thanks to the father of the church uh, my cardinal alan cherry thank you very much and to all of you we'll have the final blessing now I invite all the bishops 